I'm Chris and today I'm going to talk about the Sony NEX FS100. Now this is Sony's newest Super 35 camera and a welcome addition to their film style camera range. It sits just below the F3 in the NX cam family and makes use of the AVC HD recording system as well as some of the other features found in this budget friendly range of cameras. Now first off let's take a look at the body. It has a compact and modular design. The top handle, side grip and monocular can all be removed, making this camera particularly suited to guerrilla filmmaking or shooting in tight spaces. It has a 3.5 inch top mounted LCD with attachable monocular, as well as two XLR inputs with manual volume controls and headphone monitoring. Meaning that recording sync sound in camera is really easy, unlike with the 5 and 7D. Now there are some limitations to this compact design. For instance, as the LCD is top mounted, you can't see it from below. So you may want to add an outboard electronic viewfinder or EVF to make this more versatile. You may want to add a bar mount, but if you do, you're going to need quite a step down in order to make the matte box line up with the lens properly. The FS100 has all the standard controls you'd expect of a Sony camera, with the exception of ND. But because of its compact design, the buttons for all these are quite crammed in, and sometimes in places that may seem counterintuitive, but you do get used to this. Now let's take a look at the front end. Like the F3, this camera has a Sony mount, this time it's the Sony E-mount. Now E-mount lenses are not the best quality, but there is one major advantage to having this mount on the camera. Now the E-mount is quite a shallow mount, which allows you to add mount adapters on top of that. We carry the Nikon mount and the PL or positive lock mount. This means this camera can take our ZF, CP2, Ultra Prime and Ingenue zoom lenses. Now this is quite a comprehensive range of lenses to suit most productions and most price ranges. Now let's take a look at the sensor and this is probably the best thing about this camera. The FS100 has the same Super 35 XMOS CMOS sensor as the F3. It has slightly less contrast latitude, but you can still achieve that fantastic photographic aesthetic with a shallow depth of field. But be warned, if a shallow depth of field is your aim, you're going to want to keep the iris fully open on the lens and stop down the light using NDs. Now as I said before, the only visual control this camera doesn't have is built-in NDs, which makes a matte box and NDs virtually essential with this kit. Now in terms of internal recording, the camera records AVC HD onto high speed SD cards and Memory Stick Pro Duo cards. Now AVC HD is not the best codec in the world and the camera only has a maximum variable bitrate of 24 megabits per second. This is a comparatively low bitrate but to be honest you won't notice this difference in quality with the naked eye in most cases. And this bitrate is perfectly fine for the internet and other non-broadcast mediums but of course it's way shy of the 50 megabits per second HD TV broadcast spec. But that's where the FS100 has an ace up its sleeve. The camera has the standard AV and HD component outputs, but most importantly, it also has a HDMI output, which is able to output uncompressed 8-bit 422 Full HD with embedded audio and timecode, which can then be recorded using a nano flash at at least 50 megabits per second, making this footage perfectly suitable for broadcast. Now of course HDMI is not the best connector in the world, so I would definitely suggest monitoring anything you're recording with a nano flash with an external monitor. But I'd suggest this when plugging up a nano flash using BNCs. Regardless, the FS100 and the nano flash is one of the most practical and definitely the most cost effective Super 35 50 megabit camera recording system. So if you need fantastic image quality on a budget, give us a call on 0845 460 9988 and get some more information and see if the Sony NEX FS100 is the camera for you.